Hi, I'm Cheryl Eisen, president of Interior Marketing Group. Like about 65% of all New Yorkers, I'm a renter, which means I'm limited in what I can do with my home. Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips and tricks on how I created my dream home out of a white box rental with only one closet. Generally, I'm working with huge properties, penthouses, townhouses, estates, but my home is significantly smaller at just 12 feet wide, so I wanted every area to make its own design statement, yet still feel cohesive. And remember, it only has one closet, so I had to come up with imaginative ways to create hidden storage, because there's nothing worse in a small space than clutter. This is your basic apartment foyer, but because it's configured between the loft stairs and the powder room, I was definitely limited with what I could do. And there's no coat closet, of course, so I arranged these sculptural hooks to hang my purse, to hang my coat, and it's perfect because the stairs sort of keep it hidden from the rest of the home. And speaking of hidden, if you're a New Yorker, you know there's two things in your foyer, an intercom and a fuse box. That makes hanging art on that wall pretty much impossible. But I came up with a solution for that. I put a hinge on the left side of this framed piece of art so I can access the panels whenever I want. This is the kitchen that came with the place, and you definitely can change a kitchen in a rental. But I took full advantage of this L-shaped breakfast bar, which I happen to be sitting on. But instead of using it for just stools, I created this dining banquette, which gives me a dedicated, chic, formal dining area. And I love how there's still room for these two funky counter stools. Because of the double height ceilings, this is my favorite part of this home. But I still used every trick in my design arsenal to really maximize every inch. For starters, I created this dramatic mirror installation that goes all the way up to the ceiling and doubles the visual size of this room. Neutral tones define me as a designer, but to keep it interesting, I layer various textures throughout. For example, grass cloth wallpaper, linen drapes, shagreen coffee table, and a marble media unit. In a rental, there's never a J-Box where you want it, but statement lighting is key to any well-designed room. Here, I hung five pendants from the ceiling and hid the cord with cord cover. Now, I have my statement lighting and the room feels complete. Up here is my bedroom. It overlooks the living room so it shares the same beautiful light. At the foot of a bed, I always make sure to create chic functionality. There's a reading nook in the corner and this dresser slash desk slash vanity. I flanked three pendants using the same cord cover trick I did in the living room. I paneled the headboard and flanked the bed with mirrors. This adds that regal touch of luxury that your bedroom should always have. Oh, and if you can, get a bed with storage underneath. It always comes in handy. By checking out what I've done in my home, I hope you can see that even if you rent, you can still maximize space while bringing in style and personality into your home. And you'll never have to worry whether you get your security deposit back. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?